All right, what is going on, people here, and welcome back to the episode of Arc Survival Evolved Max Speed. And I purposely said that faster because I just love the appeal of saying that as fast as I can while doing a Max Speed episode. So, big day today. It's the start of the two videos a day for an entire week marathon that we're going on, and I really have no idea what this trek is doing. I felt like this would be a perfect place to start recording just because I was walking along the beach and I just sort of found this, and it defies all laws of physics, and it doesn't make any sense. And that's precisely the reason why I still love Arc. Just, well, sort of love Ark. It's it's a it's a good game, but uh, it needs some work. So today we're looking at the Coel. For some reason, the internet okay, the internet works in mysterious and marvelous ways, and that is the exact reason that the Coel is the most requested max speed that I think I've ever had. I mean, there were probably more, but. Uh, there would probably be more right now, but we've already finished all those. And of the remaining ones, I don't think I've ever seen more comments saying Arc Max Speed of blank. Because the Coel is just absolutely the most requested thing that I think I've ever had. Just because the uh, the, the, the increase in subscribers since, I don't know, doing a Raptor, which would have been highly requested. So the Coel is the most requested Arc Max Speed build we've ever done. And you can see here, a very fearsome predator. This is probably the fight of the century right here. I mean... You could take a Warden Dodo Rex versus like a Warden Giga, and you know, that's an interesting fight, but when you see a Coel fighting a Dodo, that truly is the fight of a century. I mean, Ark doesn't get any better than that, so I'm going to go ahead and take out this Megalodon to make sure we don't get any interference, and yeah, the Coel manages to kill the Dodo, so good job there, little buddy, but uh, unfortunately, I haven't got the mod yet. I completely forgot to install it, and I couldn't find the comment, so I forget who it was, but please link the comment to do the creature management so you can add experience and manipulate health and everything in the comments once more, because I will make sure that I install it this time and make sure I get it running for the next video that we're going to do later on today. So keep an eye out, because we are going to be doing more videos today, and there should be a max damage video later today, and it's probably going to be the dire wolf. So if anybody's got a better way of comparing damages than just summoning in a level 1 broodmother because it's going to take forever. Now would be a good time to leave it in the comments and just say, I think you could do this to measure the damage. I mean, I'm not really looking for a, here's how much damage it does, because it's pretty easy. You just go on the arc wiki, you do the percentage value in comparison to how much damage percentage it has. What is that Coel doing? It is freaking out right now. But uh, as you can see, it does actually get melee damage, which is, or movement speed, which is very nice. So, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I want to see what is a good target for testing how long it takes something to kill something. Because, I mean, spending 30 minutes trying to kill a broodmother on a parasaur isn't going to be something that's a very appetizing idea to me. So, we're going to summon a level 1 million coal here because I don't have the mod for manipulation of XP. But hopefully for the next video, we'll have that. And, as you can see, we've got a pretty good looking coal here. I mean, I don't know if these should be tameable because they don't have any purpose. I mean... They don't have any purpose, but uh, it's cool looking, and I really actually quite like the Coel. It feels like it's one of the more detailed creatures in Ark, because, I mean, the Colacanth, it has such a developed animation for its moving, and you'll see it when we get this Coel to follow us, and we're underwater, and it's coming at us at full speed. It has one of the most developed and well-made animations that I think I've ever seen of any creature in max speed, which is really weird to say because it's basically just a fish that you can't tame, it can't attack things, it doesn't run away very well, and it's really just an early supply of food for level 10 players with a spear. That's really weird to say because it's such a useless creature, but it's so well-developed. Like, watch the animation. It's got each individual fin moving, and it's just so weird. So, we have a 1 million... It, it's strong. I mean, I've never seen something get vaporized quite like that. I, I mean, Alpha T-Rex has been killed in one shot before. We've seen it with the Dodos, we've seen it with the Overraptors, everything. It's an unmountable pretty much when, when they get to level 1 million. But I don't think I've ever seen one vaporized, so it's pretty safe to assume that the Koal is hiding some hidden power here. So, as you can see, we get it up to 247.5% melee damage, or movement speed. I'm still in that max melee damage mood, but... Uh, you can see it's fantastic animation. I mean, it's not fast. It's slower than the Mega Prana, in fact. But it's so well developed. And look at its idle. Its idle animation is just sitting there, and it's moving its fins like it's just trying to stay above sinking. So it's just it's so cool. I mean, I really would like to see some more detail added to the other creatures of Ark to make them as detailed as a cool, which is just such a weird thing to say. And I hope that I can look back on this once the game's been fully released and just kind of think to myself like, yeah. 
That is a weird thing to say. No, the T-Rex has a great idle animation. It looks around. It's very fluid. And, you know, it's hard to compare things to the Coel and say it's a benchmark. Because when you think of a Dodo, it's pretty much the nothing of Ark. And at the same time, it's the face of it. But when you think of a Coel, well, the simple answer is you don't. And to, to see that it has such a well-developed animation and a really good model is very strange. So we've got our or Coel attacking this uninterested Mosasaur, just because, I don't know, I feel like it would be entertaining to see that. And of course, the Mosasaur, as soon as it touches a cliff, it gets one shot. It doesn't get vaporized, which is a little bit disappointing. So, that's about it, though. The Coel, strange, strange creature. Not sure why I would ever make the case for doing a maxed out movement speed, because it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's not a good sea hunter. But it appears to be able to keep up with anything in the ocean. I mean, a plesiosaur is probably faster when aggroed. And I imagine that a coel would probably aggro it. Simply because it's a coel. It's an easy target. It's easy food. There's a reason that players at level 10 hunt it. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it from us. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for how to perfect the max damage series, feel free to leave those in the comments. I'll definitely be interested to read some of those. So, uh, yeah. Keep... Stay tuned, because we have some episodes that are coming up later on today, and tomorrow we're going to have another two, so that should be a lot of fun, and we hope to see you in the next episode of whatever we make. Probably going to be max damage, I'm thinking probably the dire wolf. Seems to be pretty requested. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later today, hopefully. Peace. This 1.5 million is pretty much the ultimate underwater bodyguard. If you were standard movement speed, and standard oxygen, and you just carried flippers and a uh, a diving tank with you underwater, I imagine you would probably have no issues with having this maxed out movement speed prana keeping up with you. But anyway, you can see here, in the matter of time there, we got 1648 wood. That's a lot of goddamn wood for a tiny little beaver, and the fact that it can carry that much wood, that'll build, that'll build you a small beach house. It's pretty damn good.